the time is now. Join Logos Laura Tri Ministries in prayer and intercession for our nation, the Caribbean, kingdoms, women, children, and our neighbors. Second Chronicles 7 14 to 15. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land now mine eyes shall be open and my ears attend unto prayer that is made in this place the awakening is here the time is now. Prayer and intercession. This Friday's 6 a.m. only on WAC 90.1 FM. My salvation, someone magnify the Lord with me Logos Laura Tri Ministries invite you to tune in every Friday morning at 6 a.m. for prayer. Our work includes assisting the needy in the community with hampers, counseling, prayer, education, and acts of kindness. We are thankful for your support towards these efforts. You can deposit to FCB number 2853559 or drop off at WAC 90.1 FM or purchase a Logos Laura Tri Ministries t-shirt. WhatsApp or call number 868-763-6801. Logos Laura Tri Ministries, people investing in the lives of people. But my strength has become my song. Just let me say a special good morning to each and everyone that are tuning to this broadcast this morning. I pray that God continue to bless all of us in this nation. That we continue to walk in the presence and in the righteousness of Almighty God. As we continue to lift up and glorify the name of Jesus which is above every name. Father, you have declared over this nation that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you is Lord and you are God and you are King of things in heaven, things in earth and things under the earth, Father. And there's no name that gives among men whereby we can be saved, Father. Only through your name. And this morning we stand as a nation of God representing you in holiness, and in righteousness, Father. Lord, continue, Lord, to open our hearts, oh God. And return the hearts of those that do not know you, God, back to the place, oh God, of worship. That we could stand worthy and all your God, before you. Father, remove, oh God, every thought of the enemy. Every darkness, oh God, of the adversary, Father. Remove, oh God, the plan, oh God, of Satan. And every demonic, oh God, ignorance, Father, that been plagued our nation, Father, for years and for years, Father. I pray, oh God, that you break, oh God, every cause of tradition, oh Lord, over our nation, Father. And remove, oh God, the scales from the eyes of your people, that they will see, oh God, the righteousness of you. Father, we ask you, God, as you come, Lord, and dwell, oh God, amongst men. Let, O oh God, this nation be a nation of righteousness and of holiness, Father. As we continue to glorify you. As we continue to worship, Father. 
as we continue to lift up your name break the cross yes, from Lord. all from this nation Hallelujah. that men of god will not continue to walk in darkness father father remove oh god every weight of god of heaviness from our nation father remove oh god every spirit of ignorance oh lord from our nation remove oh god every spirit of god of blindness from our nation lord jesus remove oh god every spirit of god of doubt and of fear and of dismay god and confusion and corruption father from our nation that we all will continue to stand as one for you have made it very clear that we are we are a nation of god of one people father let oh god our minds oh lord our thoughts oh god come into that realm of god where we are our brothers keeper father you ask in the same message oh lord and you're asking us the same thing father where are our brothers oh lord this morning we declare over this nation that we'll come to the place father for know that we are brothers and sisters of god of one father and even so lord we move for god the thoughts of god of ignorance from our nation and from every heaviness of lord that the enemy will play god upon us father we praise and we glorify your righteous and holy name father and we pray father that you will continue to reign over this nation as king as lord and as we continue to glorify you father we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you and we bless your name i just want to say a special good morning to those that are tuning you are tuning to logos lower tri ministry where we pray where we intercede where the lord of god speak over this nation where the king of king bring message in prophetic realm towards this nation that men will turn from the evil and turn from the sin for the warning that god has given unto us for days to come that we will not continue to live in darkness and i said lord continue continue to reign over this nation as we continue to glorify you in everything i just want to say that god has given us a word towards this nation that as a people we could rise up from our sleep and our slumber and we could hear what god has given to this nation let us do not take it lightly because god has raised up logos lava to bring the true and room message to our nation where we could listen what the lord is saying whereby we could grow whereby we could know whereby we could understand what is going on and i pray this morning to those who are tuning for the first time listen to what the lord is saying to our nation that we will not live a life of ignorance and of doubt but we live a life where god has been the king and the lord over every situation and i want to say this morning as god continue to speak let us listen what the lord is saying to our nation that we could be a nation of righteousness of holiness and a nation that when they look at us they will see the glory manifesting in our nation as we continue to be one people one force one army serving one king and one lord and may god bless this nation 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 father bless this nation bless this nation father that we could return and bless those that do not have father continue to bless this nation and let your name glorify i now hand over to logo slower as she deliver what god has given unto all to shade towards this nation i pray that you call up a friend call up your family call up someone and tell them listen and hear what the lord is saying to this nation this morning and we thank you for your time and we thank you for everything logo slower over to you Good morning. Thank you, Minister Isaac. Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. This is the day 
our Lord God Almighty has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We go right in to the food from heaven and we call it fresh manna from heaven this morning. We love you and may God bless you to those who celebrated Shouter Baptist yesterday. May the Lord bless you and keep you as you continue on your journey in faith in God to move mountains in Jesus name. Amen. But Isaac, could you read Jeremiah chapter 15 for us verses 1 to 18 is our reference scripture and the topic is the origin bless the Lord Amen. thank you Jesus glory be to his name Jeremiah chapter 15 our reference scripture for today Amen. and the word of God has declared unto us then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind would not be towards these people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Where shall we go at forth? Then thou shalt say to them, Thus said the Lord God, such are of a the death to death, and such are of for the sword to the sword, and such are for the famine to the famine, and such are for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint it over them four kind, said the Lord the sword to slay, and the dogs to eat, and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy and i will cause them to be removed into all kindred or kingdom of the earth because of manasseh the son of ezekiah king of judah for that which he have done in jerusalem for who shall have pity upon thee o jerusalem or who shall be mourn thee or who shall go aside as thou thou this is thou hast forsaken me said the lord thou hast gone backward therefore will i stretch out my hands against thee and destroy thee i am weary with thy repenting and i will fend thee with a friend in the gates of the land i will be thee of the children and i will destroy my people since they return not forth for that way the widow are increased me before as a son of the sea. I have brought upon them against the mother of the young men, a spiler of no day, and caused them to fall upon the suddenly and terror upon the city. She that at home seven lamented and has given up the ghost, her son is gone down while it was yet day. She had been ashamed and confounded and the residue of them will i destroy by the sword before the enemy said the lord woe is he my mother then thou hast borne me a young and a strife and a man of contention to the whole earth have i dealt the um, needle learn unusually and men have lent me no usury yet every one of them deal cost me the Lord said, Verily I shall be with thy remnant. Verily will I cause the enemy to entreat thee. Well, in the time of evil and in the time of affliction, shall iron break the, the morning or the iron of the steel? Thy substance and thy treasure will I give to the spoil without a peace that, that of all the sins, even in all the borders. And I will make thee to pass with thee enemies into the land which thou knowest not. For a fire of kindle in thy anger which shall burn upon you. O Lord, thou knowest, remember me, the visit, remember me and visit me. And retrieve, O God, 
the persecutor, take me not away for the long suffering. Thou hast forsaken me. I have suffered rebuke. Thy sword was founded, and I did eat them. And thy sword was unto me the joy and rejoicing my heart. For in all thy ways, O Lord God of hosts, I sat upon the assembly of the mockers and rejoices. I sat alone because of thy hand. For thou hast filled me with indignation. Why is my pain percutual and the wound increases with the confusion of the healing? Will thou be together unto me as a liar and as a water that falleth? Amen. And they end the reading of the word of God to this nation. Bless the Lord. And now we would just play one of our nation's song. God bless our nation. Our nation of many varied races, may we possess that common love that.
bless the Lord. Thank you. Amen. The origin, the topic, pirate spirit of the Caribbean. Pirate spirits of the Caribbean that affects the inhabitants of this land and the Caribbean. Amen. The merchants sailed out to conquer nations and islands under the sun, bought by the hand of God Almighty for migration and multiplication, a part of God's original plan. The purpose for man to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the whole earth. Not all men cooperate with what God said. Some would rebel instead of humble themselves. O Trinidad and Tobago, how far would you go to provoke me to anger before you come back to me, says the Lord, unto us as a nation and people? The history of Trinidad and Tobago. The merchants set out to seek treasures of the earth. In their quest for wealth and power, they invaded to conquer and took the treasures of their discovery or recovery or rediscovery of what existed in perfect harmony. In one night village rampage by the sound of chariots and horses and breastplates of Kings and monarchy, a form of government with its monarch as the head. Terrors of the night as the villagers awaken to the sound of violence and hideous crimes against mother and child. If you were not a Moses whose basket was prepared in advance, you could not have stood a chance. The captains the, and their crew would capture you and take you to a new home without your permission. Called the captivity of Israel by the sons of men whose power was in wealth and wonderful things men call wealth and measured things that has monetary value the original inhabitants the original inhabitants was the amerindians known as the amorites known as the arawaks look up history go to jeremiah 15 to 18 for more historical events Romans 8, 1 to 4, learn more of the new laws engraved in the soul of those who are born again. Amen. The Carib tribe. The Caribs were the Canaanites. The land was ruled by giants from Canaan as they sailed out to conquer the best of the four cardinal points of Trinidad and Tobago. They sailed their ships and with maps and messages from endless masters who sent merchants out to bring to bring back word of generations of wealth and a rich heritage the merge of culture spread as lords of the land declare bring me hostages with bondages and let them serve with rigorous work to make us wealthy and healthy. We would invest in our economy. Let us be the autonomy. Who has the most will rule in his power, privilege, and knowledge. Meaning, who have more would be the boss of 
all and set the rule to remain in control of the list of the lots. Meaning, who held the power would be the devourer or deliverer of many. Let us control the wealth with health and govern the world city by city, country by country. Sailors board their ship to make many trips. Trinidad and Tobago, land of hummingbird and good vegetation, indigenous people, prestige and wealthy, captured by the powers that be stronger than thee. But who can stop a righteous seed from prospering in any soil with the voice of God inside? Who heard the cries of the captivity of the children of men? Who lived in pain and suffering because of what they accepted by looking at other men's heritage as privilege decorated with lies in disguise all men was to rise in spite of the times progress is designed by some good success comes from god who has created all in spite of history every man has a unique story of how he came to be it was not as easy as it seemed without a dream and a vision, men perish for lack of knowledge. They rejected knowledge of good and accepted evil. The counsel of men's quest is to enslave other men by what they want to accomplish. Back to Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad. Look at the word separated. Trini. Dad. Trinidad and Tobago has a dad. A father. His name is Abba Father. Jehovah. Shama. Jaira. And much more. Yes. God is affiliated with all islands and places of the earth. From the thus man came from, earthen man is, earthen vessel, a mixture of clay, who will stay in the potter's hand for perfection. Trinidad is indeed a real place. I repeat, Trinidad and Tobago is indeed a real place. Demons want to inhabit without merit by claiming lives driving out driving outsiders that try to enter without permission from their giant position who can escape persecution you could you could merge or stay you could migrate or stay in prison with out knowledge who would escape to walk the straight and narrow way Amen. trinidad is a rich heritage from the gulf of power to the nariva river many things was hidden from the eyes of man Amen. tobago trinidad and tobago got its name from me says the lord our father who art in heaven mm -hmm. unto us trinidadians and tobagonians trinidadians and tobagonians are unique indigenous people with strength and abilities of quality and responsibility to grow Amen. trinbagonians had to know something beyond natural intelligence and abilities we came from far beyond behind they came from behind and progress beyond blue eyes 
and sunny skies. Mm -hmm. It took more than a grain of rice, meaning East Indians came to plant rice and spices they bought. They walk with more than grains of seed. They walk with their history and lost contact with me, says the Lord of hosts. God is speaking expressly to the East Indian community. Yeah. East of India is a river Ganges, the river of life that came from Christ. Let me tell you why. Christ is the living water to the thirsty ones that flows from the throne of God. Water is essential and is life to mankind. The water kingdom improves the quality of life for food and travel. The Samaritan woman at the well, John 4, 24. John 4, 4 to 24, Jesus offered her water of life that she would never thirst again. Jesus is the living water sent by our Father. Amen. A brief history of East Indian, East an in, of India, East Indian community. East Indians are the descendants of one of Noah's generation. I will reveal which one exactly in a minute. Genesis 5 reference. I repeat, East Indians are the descendants of one of Noah's children. I will reveal which one exactly in a minute. Yeah. Where is East India in the Bible and on the map of the world? India is mentioned in the Bible in the book of Esther chapter 1. Now it came to pass in the days of Ahasuerus. This is Ahasuerus which reigned from India even unto Ethiopia. Over a hundred and seven and twenty provinces. India is situated in the continents of Asia. It lies in the northern hemisphere and eastern hemisphere. Amen. The introduction of race. Let me tell you how race came about. It was not of me, saith the Lord. It was of the heart of noble men to separate by reason of evil spread. The word race was created to separate. The separation was for diversity, transparency, and speciality. Not for religion of man, for worshipping of idols. All men knew worship was monotheistic, meaning one God. This was so at the beginning of creation and after the flood. The reset by God, a new covenant was made with Noah, his sons, and the earth. Mm -hmm. Genesis 9. By separation, culture developed as men began to multiply upon the face of the earth. Many things transpired. Genesis 6. Sin City existed. Genesis 10, verse 10, due to, to increase in health, wealth, and knowledge. Amen. The wise man Noah, God preserved to save us. Noah had the knowledge from God how to build a boat with gopher wood. Genesis 6, 14 tells us this. Go for wood. In other words, Go for wood that would outlast generations, nations, people, and tongues as evidence that this earth is sound and belongs to the one and only God. Amen. How did religion come about? Religion is a relationship with God that leads us to serve others in love. That is pure religion. Amen. Religion is not to mimic the practice of worship and carry it to the extreme, bringing in many things unknown and unseen and fill with lies in disguise to keep men unwise. Many hide knowledge. They have the truth, 
but they want you to believe that they are right and God is not the one who is to be worshipped alone. Amen. Some went and introduced hedonistic worship of the moon and the sun and all the elements created in Genesis chapter 1. Read it on your personal time and see what you have done in the name of religion and division of the righteous one. No one knows the truth without the root, no substitute. India is my home too, but without great deliverance, who will overcome the evil one and reclaim India for my namesake? Amen. India is in the Bible, make no mistake. They lost their true identity and was targeted for slavery and in slavery. They suffered much to no comfort. They are a lost generation of my people who need to return to monotheistic worship and not religious sacrilege. Meaning the heart is yearning and longing to worship. Their heart is searching for me, saith the Lord, to be clean and seen. But slavery misplaced us and their ancestors could no longer look after us. For they are dead and rotten in the grave, some unmarked by pirates and snakes. Yes, Indians are great, but not without faith in the one whose name is engraved in the palm of their hands and in their forehead. Revelation 9, 4 reference. Let us go to Genesis 10 to trace where East Indians came from. Are you ready for the unveiling of spiritual, biblical, original truth? From the fountain of life, here comes the light. Amen. Noah had three sons with his wife. They survived the flood and their father with their father Noah. Noah's sons had sons. The name of Noah's sons was Shem, Ham, and Japheth. From the Japheth lineage or lineage, maritime people spread, but put into their territories by clans with the, within their nations. Each with its own language, the East Indian descendants' roots is, are you ready, is for the truth, is from Japheth. Amen. Maritime people traveled by boats, ships, cargoes, canoes to simply put sea travelers. Maritime life fed from the waters and spread to nations. The original plan is to be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the whole earth. Amen. Any call for population decrease is not of me, says the Lord of hosts. I repeat, any call for population decrease is not of me, says the Lord of hosts. Genesis 5, 10 and 5. From these, the isles, islands of the nations were divided into their lands, each according to its language, according to their families in their nation. And we have Japheth's descendants. Read Genesis 10, 5 for Amen. more information. Amen. The separation of nations. All the people who live in the area around the Mediterranean Sea, they came from the sons of Japheth. The people separated and went in different countries according to languages, families, and nation. Amen. When the Lord changed the language of men because of the building of the tower of Babel. Why not Shem lineage or Ham? The Hebrew was from the Shem lineage where father Abraham's gene genealogy came from. It was a straight line unto King Jesus. Evidence of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, Matthew chapter one. The genealogy of Jesus Christ 
came through a straight line as prophesied and spoken by God to Abraham that all nations of the earth shall be blessed Amen. by his seed preserved in Jesus for this promise was fulfilled Jesus bought us salvation by redemption the curse is broken Amen. joy to the world the Lord has come let earth receive her king let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing Amen. Ham was the father of Canaan Genesis 9 8 and the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark was Shem Ham and Japheth and Ham was the father of Canaan Ham had sons but Canaan was the grandson of Noah that was cursed by his grandfather Amen. before he was born because of what Ham did to his father Noah when Noah Noah was intoxicated with wine Genesis 9 20 to 27 and Noah began to be a husbandman and planted a vineyard and he drank of the wine and was drunken and, and he was uncovered in, within his tent and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers within. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew that the younger son had done this unto him Amen. and he said curse be Canaan a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren and he said bless blessed be the Lord God of Shem so Noah bless his children and Canaan shall be his servant so he blessed the three sons but he said canaan the grandson will be his the servant of both brothers for further clarity and understanding the gentiles are descendants of japhet the gentiles are descendants of japhet in israel the israelites are the descendants of shem through father abraham and Ham is the father of Canaan. Canaan was cursed by Noah to serve all the other nations of the earth. Japheth and Ham dwell in tents of Sham, of Shem, for covering and protection. But Canaan will serve both brothers. We are all related. In Christ, there is no more separation of Jews and Gentiles. We are one under the tent of Yeshua Hamashiach, the covering, who broke the chains of bondage over us. Amen. Curse be Canaan, the grandson of Noah. Not all of Ham's children was cursed, but the grandson of Noah named Canaan. Curse be Canaan. Noah had the authority given by God. Dominion was restored unto Noah and his generation. Read Genesis chapter 9 for clarification of thoughts and understanding. All power was given to Noah and his sons and dear generations. We are, we are all from one of Noah's son lineage. Amen. African heritage reveal to heal and put to rest the lies in disguise. The Africans came on a similar trip to Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. They came with culture and a mixture of forbidden and hidden things. Africans was kings and Nubian queens, wives and concubines, bronze, gold, black gold, soul for pieces of silver and passed on to governess the and thrones unknown 
who could escape the wrath of God through disobedience? Let me tell you about African people. They ruled and were schooled by God and his son, Jesus. They had everything they could ever want, but they saw themselves as inferior to other nations because they looked at the progress and success of other tribes that was not mine they moved away from me because of their gravitating material wealth forgetting i that i place their wealth inside them no matter how they ens you and en they enslaved them god is within their dna engraved in the tablets of their heart black is original of all the races of the earth originality look at the earth we have many colored soils we have clay we have dark soil red sand and all colored soil came from the earth africans with different shades of skin tone the body is earth earth is dust and surface why a soul needs a body to inhabit yeah. the body holds the treasures of men soul the enemy is after the seed of man not only biological seed the seed is the is seed is for man to tap in to the soul and bring out blessings that flows from the river of life back to the origin of africa of africans the tribes are mine i love africans and all inhabitants of the land meaning all creation this is what happened O oh africans you got sidetracked when you went down to egypt they end up in darkness and now everyone wants to label them as a problem and is seen by some as a nuisance but let me tell you who africans are they are a powerful nation of people for example they have the bible in their soul they know that they have to take care of their brothers they are not supposed to walk in darkness yeah. for they know who is their king and who is the greatest amongst us but they allowed spirits to come in look at samson he let the philistine in yeah. this was for clarity of soul the conclusion is trinidad and tobago should not be ungrateful to the people who helped build the economy it was mix a mixture of both tribes east indians and africans are mines both came under different circumstances by pirates of the caribbean in the midst of the displacement and regiment of merchants who came to reclaim god has a plan for salvation no matter the circumstance i am about to sh i am about to share a poem that was shared previously on WAC 90.1 let me just say good morning as god give us a poem come back trinidad and tobago receive after a dream of two strange water clashing yet not merging with the vision of a boat sailing heading to trinidad and tobago on raging temporous water by revelation i realized that it was two nations of people africans and east indian come to come to cut cane and other place on the regular stars because of their build. Come back, Trinidad and Tobago. Come back. Father, we cry out for our beautiful island. Lord, we know that we are reaping the fruit of our action. In ignorance, we fight and blame each other. Some walk in pride like they are better than others. Defining what? by the wealth we acquire a on earth when did we stray from truth settling for a substitute why are we angry unforgiving and full of fury ready to fuse and fight even if we are wrong or right 
choosing to argue instead of making agreement right. Gunman, put down the weapon of your wall and take the toll. Come back, Trinidad and Tobago, to the time when we treat other as one another. No time left for ethnic division. Our history is quite common. Remember Nani and Nana came on the ship. Grandpa and Grandma made the similar trip from the river of Ganji merged with the river Nile. One raging water, these compact little ships sail history created out from forehead, land of this beautiful paradise. As they sail from two ships on two separate ships, the enslaved was our history joined by many other ethnic who also fought for the liberty. Come, let us all present a brighter future, TNT. Come, let us live in harmony. For together we aspire, together we achieve. A every creed and race find an equal place. May God bless our nation. And may God bless our nation as we continue to grow and prosper as one. And now, from the Logos Laura Tri Ministry, it's time for the Prophetic Word News Update. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us the devil is in trouble in the middle east i repeat the devil is in trouble in the middle east for he was about to gather gog and magog before his appointed time let me tell you why said the lord of hosts who could boast of the course boast of the wars except he be a part of the course of arm the father of Canaan descendant. The Canaanite want to fight because the devil is in trouble. For his time is shortened. Revelation 9, 21 and 20. Some would not repent even though the plague scorched them. They are like Pharaoh of old. The arts are ardent. They will, they will not let my people go, say the Lord of hosts. The devil is in trouble. He was about to gather Gog and Magog for his own battle. To fight against me, said the Lord of hosts, to wipe out many generations with my name in graph. But there is something he did not see coming, for his time appointed is not yet. But he seek to change time and season for reason. Ezekiel 38 prophesied the word news. Israel must be tried for the Savior they deny. Watch and pray that no man deceive you. I am, I am Robert and Logos Laura. Stay tuned for more prophetic word news updates. God Amen. bless you. And God bless this nation. And I just want to say something. Do not forget to fast and pray. And on Good Friday, we'll be on the station from 5 in the, in the morning. And may God bless you all. Thank you very much.